With the recent release of the DDJ Flex 10, Recordbox has officially released the Stems feature and it's absolutely free. With Stems, you can now isolate the drums, vocals, or instruments. Let me show you how you can start using it and how you can enable it on your DDJ 400 or any DJ controller. Let's go. Hello there boys and girls, my name is Deep, welcome to my YouTube channel. I make videos about DJing and tech, so if this interests you, consider subscribing. Stem separation has been out there for a while now and Recordbox is one of the last DJ softwares to release it. But now that it's here, I'm sure it's gonna be a game changer and I feel every Recordbox user should start using it. So let me show you how to get going with it. To get the stems feature or track separation on your record box, all you need to do is update the software to the latest version, record box version 6.7.0 or higher. If it's already updated, you'll just have to enable it. Let me show you how to enable track separation on record box. Just head over to record box, then go to the performance mode and open settings or preferences. Here go to the extensions and enable the track separation function. It will initialize the stems engine and enable it. And that's it. Now you'll be able to see the track separation functions on Recordbox. This feature doesn't require any subscription or plan. You can just enable it and start using it on your laptop with or without a controller for free. Now this is extremely easy to use. You can simply toggle these buttons to isolate the stems. When you press the button, that stem will be enabled or disabled. You can also see it in the waveform. This here is called part waveform. You can enable or disable this function from here. If it's on, only the stem that is playing will be visible. And if it's off, the waveform doesn't change when you toggle the stems. Track separation is also added to the effects tab on record box. Now you can choose to apply effects to each or all the stems. Part isolation has also been added to the channel equalizer. Once enabled, this mixer turns into a part isolator. And now, when you use the knobs, it isolates the dedicated stem. This feature was officially released with the DDJ Flex 10. And the hardware has dedicated buttons to toggle them as you perform. The DDJ Flex 10 looks like a promising product, but you don't really have to go out and buy it to start using these functions. You can use it on any controller thanks to the power of MIDI mapping. Like you saw, I've mapped it with my DDJ 400. And if you want to start using it with your DDJ 400, just click on the link in the description box below, open MIDI settings and import it. Make sure to save your old mapping in case you decide to go back to your previous mapping. And that's the easy way. You're welcome. Now you see, I have mapped it to my sampler section's bottom three pads because I can simply press one button and start toggling between the stems. Oh yeah, by default, when you press the sampler button on the DDJ 400, the sampler panel also opens up on record box. If you don't want that happening, you can simply disable it like I did. Just go to Preferences and under the Controller tab, Disable Auto Panel Mode. Now when you press the Sampler button, the panel doesn't open or close automatically. Now if you have a different controller or if you want to map your controller yourself, it's not that difficult. Let me show you how to do it. Connect your controller to Recordbox and open the MIDI tab. Here, make sure your controller is connected. I recommend that you export a backup of your current MIDI settings in case you want to go back to how it was before you change the settings that you're about to. So just export it and save the file on your computer. Once done, under the deck tab, click on add. Then move the cursor to track separation and then add active part drums, active part vocal and active part instrumental. This is for deck one. Repeat the process for deck two and change the deck number from one to two. You'll have to do this four times if you have a four channel or a four deck controller like the Flex 4 or the DDJ 1000. Now it's time to assign the buttons to these functions. So please pay attention. At any given time, if you think you made a mistake, just click on the default tab here or import your previous MIDI mapping and it will restore it back to how it used to be and then start over. Let's assign the controller now. First, click on the Sampler tab on both the decks to make sure the pads are in Sampler mode. Select Active Part Drums and click on Learn. 
Now press the button you want to use. In my case, it's the fifth pad here and you'll see that this MIDI code is already assigned to sampler, sampler 5 play. So you'll have to delete the old mapping and add the new one. To edit the old mapping, navigate to the tab mentioned. In this case, sampler, sampler 5 play. For that, click the sampler tab and search for sampler 5 play on deck 1. Here you can either delete the function or just remove the MIDI code. I don't like to delete it because I can then go back and change it to how it was. So I'm just going to remove the MIDI in and MIDI out code. Once done, go back to deck. Make sure active part drums is selected and learn is enabled. Now just press pad and you can see that active part drums is now assigned to pad 5 on deck 1. Let's do the same for vocals. Select active part vocal. Press the pad of choice, in my case it's pad 6 and you'll see it's assigned to sampler 6 play. So go to sampler, search for sampler 6 play on deck 1 and remove the midi in and midi out code. Go back to deck, make sure active part vocal is selected, press the desired button and that's it. Time to add the instrumental. Select active part instrumental, press the pad of choice, in my case it's pad 7 and you'll see that it's assigned to sampler 7 play. So go to sampler, search for sampler 7 play on deck 1 and remove the midi in and midi out code. Go back to deck, make sure active part instrumental is selected, press the desired button and that's it. Active part instrumental is now assigned to pad 7 on deck 1. Repeat the process for deck 2. Starting with drums, then vocals and then instrumental. Once done, close the MIDI settings tab and that's it. Your controller can now toggle the new track separation function. For a 4 channel controller, you'll have to repeat this process for channel 3 and channel 4 or deck 3 and deck 4 as well. And like I said before, if you want to skip all these steps, just go ahead and download the MIDI mapping from the link in the description. Important and that's it. You're good to go. And yes, you can also assign part effects and part isolator functions to your controller but I don't see myself using it very often, so I'm gonna skip it. But if you are interested, those functions are under the effects tab and the mixer tab. Just add the functions and assign it to any button on your controller. All the best. All right, I hope that this video was helpful. Please comment in the comment section below and let us know if you are going to use this function or not, or just comment your thoughts. It'll be interesting to see what you think of the new stem separation function or track separation function in Rekordbox. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it'll be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.